I doubt I'll be buying another camera anytime soon. Firstly, I would like to apologize and say thank you to everyone who has continued to engage with my videos over the past year. I know that I say in every video that there'll be more coming soon and that I've failed to do so. One of the reasons for this is because I'm not sure what you guys would like to see from this channel in the future. I've created a poll that I would greatly appreciate if you were to take part in. Camera reviews and overviews take a while to create and as much as I do like making them, I do feel that filler episodes could help keep everyone happy until the next review comes out. I've recently set up a dark room as well, so let me know if you'd be interested in videos on that as well. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Leica. Love them or loathe them? You can't argue that some of the best photographers in the history of photography have used them. From Oscar Barnack to Elliot Erwitt, from Robert Kappa to Matt Helders, many photographers from different walks of life have chosen these cameras for their workflow and the joy of using them. Prior to buying mine, I'd only ever used Leicas in either shops or at trade shows. Quite honestly, I wasn't particularly impressed with them back then. They were too heavy and the focusing seemed tricky to get right. Fast forward to making these videos. 2015 was mainly shooting digital cameras with analog lenses because I liked the way that the image was rendered. In 2016, I did two more lens reviews and my first film camera review, the Pen FT. In 2017, I really got into film cameras and the way that the lenses render images even more so. I started to research lenses more and more. I found a video by a fellow YouTuber called Steve Huff and his review of the 50mm by Voigtlander. I had to have it. At the same time, a friend of mine acquired an M6. He knew that I had researched the Voigtlander range of lenses and asked if I would like to go and shoot with him with his 35mm lens. Halfway through the roll, I knew I had to have one. It was like the feeling I got when I first shot on that Pentax back in school. I started hunting online, comparing the models from the M3 to the Minolta CLE. I chose the M7. Most people say that the M6 is the best film camera Leica ever made, but I chose the M7 for two reasons. Number one, the larger shutter speed dial, and number two, because of the aperture priority mode. When shooting my friend's M6, I found I was not getting on with the shutter speed dial. I found it was too small and I had to stretch my finger up to reach it. Coming from my Olympus which had easy to reach controls, this was slightly off-putting. I did originally look at the M6 TTL which has a larger shutter speed dial, but when I was looking there was almost none available. The A mode wasn't a massive concern to me at first, but since shooting with the M7, I found that if I wanted to take a picture quickly, the meter works just as well as I would expose an image if I was shooting manually. The camera's built like a tank. It's weighty, but feels premium. The shutter button dials and film advance are a joy to use. The rangefinder is easy to use. Mine is a 0.72 magnification. I find it easy to use even when I'm wearing my glasses and a 35mm lens. Anything wider than that is quite hard to see. The maximum shutter speed is 1 over a thousandth of a second. And the flash sync is 1 over 50th, which is a little bit disappointing. As previously mentioned, my lens is a Voigtlander 50mm 1.5. And let me tell you, this feels just as well made. This may be my favourite 50mm I've ever used. I know it's no Summilux, but I don't quite have the budget for one of those yet. I would like a moment of silence for all my other cameras. None of them have been used since purchasing my Leica, as none of them feel as good to shoot. That being said though, I am looking to get into medium format more in the future. If you're thinking, should I buy one, I would recommend either renting or borrowing one first, as they aren't cheap and it's a lot of money to spend to find that you don't like it. Please don't forget to vote in my poll. You can click here to see my latest video, and until next time, keep shooting. Also, if you guys could go over to Instagram and give me a follow over there, that would really help. I've started posting more, and you can also watch my Photokina coverage exclusively on Instagram. <laughs>